Hello, pipe smoking community. Uh, this is Pipe Cat, and I want to talk to you today about Bengal slices, which seems to be a uh, a concoction of uh, Russ Willette from Pipes and Cigars, who tried to capture something that was originally manufactured, I guess, by uh, the Sobrani people, and some other some other remakes have come out over the years, and then. I guess it went away probably about maybe 20, 30 years ago, and he recently brought it back to life. And uh, I must say, I have no idea what the original Bengal slices used to taste like or smell like or whatever, but I know that it was very popular and much lamented and uh, very welcomed back onto the market. I have been enjoying Bengal slices immensely. It is a crumble cake, which means that they take the, you know, they, they take the Latakia, the Cavendish Orientals, they press them together into basically little hockey pucks that you can break apart uh, and stuff into your pipe. They don't really require much drying out. Um, it, it, it burns quite well. You just have to be careful not to pack it tightly. Bengal slices will burn all day. I literally filled up this country gentleman pipe that you see here, which has become one of my favorite pipes. I just I always reach for that one for some reason. I filled that up to the brim last night took a few drags and let it sit so that I could go to sleep I woke up this morning I started my my work and uh, I hit off that same bowl all day long I literally there's probably still some left in there that I could relight right now so it's a good long slow burning cool smoke and let me tell you the flavor of Bengal slices is just amazing I'm in love with it it uh, it almost has Boy, I hate to use this word because it's probably, I don't want to give you the wrong idea, but it really does have sort of a licorice on top of it. Uh, you can really get it from the tin note. When you open it up, that tin note is just, you, the Latakia is right there, that nice smokiness, but that that top note of, of a really sweet, beautiful licorice, I can't put it any other way just kind of reaches out and grabs you by the nose and when you light it up you don't lose that that uh, same flavor follows it through the bowl um, and the room note even reflects it it's it's very very nice this is almost like what I would have to call an English crossover because it, it is an English that happens to be highly aromatic the uh, the strength of this is is medium I would say the um, the flavor of it is is a uh, very very well, the flavor is strong, but it's not overpowering at all. It's just very fulfilling. And the uh, the smoke you get out of it is nice and rich and thick as well. It's not the smokiest experience in the world, but it is pretty smoky. And that's kind of nice. It's nice to be able to sense the smoke without, you know, having enough to get sick of it. And that top note is just present enough so that you, you always get it. But I, myself, did not get tired of it. I smoked it all day, and... Uh, I, I would I would light up another bowl right now if I wasn't all tobacco out. So uh, to keep this brief, Bengal slices is a great choice. It is an awesome choice. I would say that if you're someone who has had a lot of aromatics, wants to try English, and I've said this before, but this one really is the standout example. If you're looking to try Latakia blends and, and you're not sure because you've been smoking a lot of aromatics, this is a nice one to start with. I'm going to show you the jacket blurb on this one here. It says... Mm. <laughs> there it is. A crumble cake made of Cyprian Latakia, outstanding oriental, bright Virginia, and a touch of black Cavendish finished with a subtle top note. That's a pretty standard jacket blurb for a tobacco. Don't let it fool you. Um, this one is all about the flavor. You uh, get yourself one tin of this just to be sure it's something you're going to like. But uh, I guarantee you, you will buy more. Bengal Slices is, is really, I don't know about its history. I could quote to you what Russ had to say about it and what other people have had to say about its history. But that does not matter to anyone who wasn't there during that time or smoking pipes during that time. All I know is that this particular formulation of Bengal Slices you know, formulated by Russ Willett and company and uh, coming from the uh, Standard Tobacco Company of Pennsylvania is a real contender. I'm going to buy 
a lot more of this. I can tell you that. So uh, give Bengal slices a shot. Uh, as I always say, do not let your pipe smoking get away from you. Don't do what I did today. I got up this morning with a hankering for a pipe. I lit this pipe and I smoked that stuff all day. And uh, I liked it so much that I was, I was lighting it up, uh, you know, every chance I got. Every time I looked at the pipe, I'd pick up the lighter. And uh, that's not really a good practice, I don't think. And I probably won't smoke tomorrow because I did that today. I probably will just finish what's left in this bowl. And believe me, there is still some left in this bowl from a, from a whole day of smoking. I can't see in there. But um, Bengal Slices is an economical smoke, I'll tell you that. Uh, I filled up my pipe and uh, have smoked it all day long. So enjoy Bengal Slices. Watch your smoke intake. Get outside. Enjoy the springtime. Have a wonderful evening, and I will be yapping you up again soon. Not yappoing you, just yapping. Thank you.